What's up guys, it's Deion Murphy, and this is my snapshot presentation. It's going to be a two-part presentation. My first part is uh, educational influences, and my second part is definitely going to be my educational autobiography. So to start off, my, my first educational influence is my sister, who uh, graduated CCP about four years ago, something like that. And she graduated with a degree in photography which she ended up switching to because she switched her major like a lot of times. And she always came and told us um, every time she switched her major because she was just like, she didn't know what to do, which is where I am right now. That's why I'm in liberal arts. I just don't know what I want to do yet. And I'm in this FYE class to help me with that, but she never took an FYE class. She just had to figure out the hard way of, uh, of uh, finding out where her career was going to be, just dabbing with everything and seeing a, a little bit of everything and what, and what path she was going to go down just by doing that. That was her strategy. And I always loved my sister's individualism. She always made sure she was self-dependent and that even if everyone wasn't with her, she had her own self and she always prayed every night and asked God to just to keep on the right path, which is pretty much what I'm doing right now. She did get a lot of work at times. She would be up until like 2 a.m. But she always stayed driven, that's what I loved about her. Even though she had to do that, she never complained about it. She just knew she had to do, and she just got it done. And that's what I really loved about her, and that's what I try to do now. I just try to stay driven and not let anything get in my way. And definitely not to complain about anything, because things definitely could be worse. Now I want to talk about my educational autobiography like and my background. So I started off in West Philly, of course. Uh, 54 from market and I went to uh, Huey B. Samuels uh, I stayed there from kindergarten to sixth grade and that was pretty much my neighborhood everyone knew me everyone knew that I also got my work done and got the grades they always come to me for answers and stuff like that but I always seen that as a compliment saying that I was smart even coming up to me and just saying like hey you, you have the answers and stuff like that I went through that even in uh, high school, which is where I'll touch bases on shortly. But then I went to middle school. I moved to Southwest. I went to Tilden. And that's a uh, right down the street from my house in Southwest. And Tilden was, wasn't really a good school, but we all had those experiences with bad schools. So that was pretty much my experience with bad school. I uh, played on the basketball team for a little bit, but I didn't really get in too much into it because I knew I was going to move the next year, so I didn't want to get involved myself, get too attached with people, and then have to just break it all off and, and move to a different place. But for, um, surprisingly, I actually stayed in Southwest that, the year after that. I just went to a different school. I went to George W. Pepper, and that was about 8th grade, yeah. About eighth grade, so I stayed there for a year, and I ended up going to high school from G um, GW Pepper. GW Pepper, I made a lot of friends. I still know them up to this day. It was really, um, it was a really nice school. It was huge. Also, I played for the basketball team there. We didn't really do good because it wasn't like you know teamwork and stuff like that. But I wasn't expecting it to be perfect. I was just you know trying to find somewhere I can um, involve myself at in terms of sports because I love basketball. I've always been a basketball fan and a football fan, of course. So then, after that, um, I went to high school, of course, uh, Franklin Learning Center, specifically. And um, I've um, always, I'm, I'm a drummer. I've always been into music, so I went to there for uh, instrumental music. So I was an instrumental music major all four years, and it was it was definitely an experience. Uh, I had to take up a, a huge, huge role and the band because there wasn't a lot a lot of really a lot of drummers during this time so i just had to pick up the slack and make sure that i catch up just take the music read it interpret it and then just come in the next day and know how to play it and that was the mindset i went on really individual then I, until i met my friend anthony he's my best friend now he's a drummer as well so we just bonded up linked up and we just worked together to get through that school year and I made it through all the four years. I still have a lot of friends now in college. I see them pretty much every day now. <laughs> but 
Uh, that was a really good experience. So in terms of like fears in, for college, I, I'm not really, I wasn't really scared. I was just, I was prepared. Like my, my English teacher got me prepared for this thing. She told plenty of people to come in, like instructors on um, like college instructors to tell us like how the feel of college and how it was going to be. So I was prepared for college, honestly. I, I, there wasn't really any fears for me. Maybe I guess like the funds, the funds were uh, were getting in my way, like clouding up my judgment. But that's pretty much it. So I, I hope you guys like my snapshot presentation, and see you guys later.